Hi guys, Rupert and Ash here. We're uh, we're out for another video. The other boys have refused to come because <laughs> it is another BMW video, but it's gonna be a good one. Today's uh, video is going to be a E46 M3 comparison video with the E46 330 Ci. So on the face of it, two similar looking cars, but they are very different. Uh, we're gonna run through some of the exterior stuff, interior, and get the cars out on the road, see how they drive. So let's get to it. So to start with, a bit of exterior styling stuff. There are some subtle differences with these cars. Ash has got the bonnet bulge over there. No bonnet bulge here. And mirrors, you've got the square mirrors, which I actually prefer actually. And I've got the oval, oval mirrors. Um, the sides profiles, the main thing here is the wing. And if you see on the, on the M3, you've got the, this line continues. It stops and continues there. Whereas on here it doesn't. I think it blends it in more. I think because the M3's got that bigger, bigger arch. Yeah. That's that's the main thing that really for me that really sets these two cars apart is the stance of them. Like if you look down the side of this car, there's there's a little bit of a bulge on the arches, but is, yeah, really nothing good. compared to this. This thing is is just beastly how wide it is. And that's when you compare the two next to each other, there is a big difference. And also on the on the M3, obviously you've got the, the wing vents. Are these do these let the engine breathe at all, or are they just cosmetic? You know what? I don't actually know. To be completely honest, they're not. There is a hole behind it, so I'm guessing it has <laughs> might, some sort of. Maybe it might. Uh, yeah, it might draw the draw the, um, the air, air out. Possibly. I don't know, but you've both got the. Uh, Sl the a slight different on the bonnet vent there. There's yours has got a bit of plastic mesh. Mine's just straight metal. Wheels. The 330 18s were st were standard. There was no. I don't think there was a 19 inch option. No, there wasn't. Whereas most M3s, although they came standard with an 18, most of the original owners spec the 19 inch wheels. Around the back, the key thing here is basically the bad boy four exhaust. Here we have the BMW S54 engine, and here we have the BMW M54 engine. They're both 360s. The S54 is a 3.2, the M54 is a 3 litre. This one revs to 6,500. That one, top, top end is what? 8,000. And it makes a bit of a difference with the noise. One screams. This one's, this one's quite, a, you'll hear it later on, but. It's quite throaty. This is quite, yeah, quite a deep, throaty noise. That is much more race car that's screaming, cool. rascal. I think there's, what is it, 231 horsepower, and that's. 338. 338, and about 220 pounds foot of torque, and that's. 260-ish. One big difference on the drivetrain is this has got a limited zip diff. Yeah. So it, it can put its power down a lot better. And you've also got the slightly bigger brakes on the uh, M3, especially on the rear. The front's are the same size as the 330, um, but the fronts on this are drilled as well as vented, whereas the 330 is vented on the rear. They're slightly bigger discs as well, again drilled and vented. Interior. M3, it's the same. Very similar, isn't it? It is very similar. A few subtle differences. Stitching on the M3 steering wheel. We're talking very subtle. You've <laughs> got to be a proper M3 geek to notice that, really, if you get in this car. Yeah, the, the stitching on this has got tri-colour, so it's got the um, the light blue, the dark blue, and the red. And the M colours, basically. The M colours, yeah. It did have a an illuminated gear knob as well, but I've changed that for a Storm Motorworks one. Seat, seats feel different. Seats are different. You've got Le a little embossed M logos on the headrest as well. The leather feels softer in this, if I'm honest. Nappa leather. Okay. Yeah. So it's slow, but it doesn't wear as well. So uh, swings around about so good. Clocks are different. The tachometer goes to nine on the revs. So that is the key thing in this interior for me. <laughs> lumbar support on your seats, I think. I've got lumbar support and. And uh, you get a sport button. Yeah, you get a sport button. You get a sport button in this. It's basically. It's Pretty much E46 bar a few few sort of custom. But bits. I think it's the same as the outside. They're, they're, they're subtle inside, yeah. but they're also quite subtle outside. I'd say it's more subtle inside. More than subtle, yeah, agree. So yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's let's get Ash's opinion on the the standard E46. Ah, like that. So we're in the 330. It's very similar to you, fair. I prefer the colour of your interior. Black leather, black carbon trim surround. Yeah. The, no, they're called. It's called cube trim. I, I really like the interiors to be fair. I mean, the buttons are a little bit dated, but 
comfort wise it's it's a dated interior but it's not it's quite classic it's not mm. it's not horrible place to be is it I really like the steering wheel the steering wheel is steering one of the best steering wheels i've driven on any car it yeah. it's like it just it's just the right size it does feel nice yeah. nice leather buttons are in the right place so we've had a look at the cars interior exterior let's get these cars out on the road because they that's where they're meant to be really rather than sat in a car park Nice empty road, two straight sixes. What do they sound like? What, what is the difference between a 3.2 litre M3 and a 330 litre? I want to find out. We are in the 330, three litre straight six. Still got a nice sound to it, hasn't it? it? Sounds great, I love it. Control off. Off? Off. You want to have a go? Go on then. Yeah, let's have a go. Smoother. It's a lot smoother. It's got less power. Yeah. It's got 100, 100 horsepower less. You can wring its neck out a bit more, can't you? Yeah, Because yeah. it doesn't bite you as much. Yeah. I prefer the steering. The, the, the feel is great for the steering, though. I that think it's better than mine. It's... Gearbox is not, it's not as clunky. Tires make a massive difference in these cars. I've had some mid-range tires on this car before. Thought they were okay. Uh, changed them to Goodyear Eagle F1s, and night and day difference. Like the grip levels are so much better, and hardly any difference really in the wet. It makes a massive, massive difference. Let's go to the M3. Remember, if you're looking to buy one 
of these, the, the price jump is a lot. Is it worth it? That's the question. That's, that's a so question. The, the bills behind it are pretty big. They're, They're hefty. Scary, like yeah. compared to what, if I was to do the same work on my car, it wouldn't be anywhere near that cost. It's just M tax. They put like, everything like front wishbones. Your car, what? They're two hundred quid. This is about like, five hundred quid. Yeah. It's essentially it's, a very simple part. Most, it's at least double, if not more, most yeah. of the parts. Ash back in his M3. Let's find out how he, um, what his comparison to the 330 is. Day out with these two cars, both a lot of fun to drive. Um, yeah. Ash, what's your uh, your opinion on the 330? Very keyful car. Um, it's it's a lot easier to drive on the limit, and it's got a, it, surprisingly the steering on the 330 is a lot better than the M3. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Having driven the M3 today, yeah. um, it does feel nicer. So 330 plus one for that. Um, but we are still next to the M3 and. It is an M3 after all, it's the one that you, if you can afford it, that's the one to go for. It's a great car. The overall package, they've, they've nailed it. I mean, other than the steering, but they changed that slightly for the CS and CSL anyway to make it better. They have nailed it. They've done what they it's needed so to do. It's so much louder, it's yeah. so much faster, it's it's a quality car. So it's Special to drive it, it feels more special, more sense of occasion. Yeah, definitely. So, we'll uh, hopefully be doing a bit of a buyer's guide for these two next time. Um, if you're still interested, watch that one, but hopefully see you soon.